Hi, I'm Mark from ereplacementparts.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a lawnmower carburetor. Most hard starting and running issues with your lawnmower can be attributed to the carburetor. This has always been a problem if fuel is left sitting in the carburetor for an extended period of time, say over the winter. Most equipment manufacturers say that any fuel older than 30 days is considered too old to be usable and should be disposed of. This includes the fuel that might be sitting in your gas can. This has become more of an issue in recent years as more and more fuel manufacturers include ethanol in our gasoline. The ethanol will sit in the carburetor and accelerate the corrosion and gumming up of the carburetor. Fortunately, this is an easy problem to fix and we're going to show you how to do that in this video. We'll get started by first removing the carburetor from the lawnmower. With the carburetor removed from the lawnmower, now I want to pull the gaskets away and inspect them. If there's any damage to the gaskets at all, I want to go ahead and replace them. Looks like this gasket is torn in a couple of places, so we'll replace it for sure. I also want to go ahead and do an initial clean of the outside of the carburetor so we're not transferring any of this dirt back into the carburetor. To do this initial cleaning, I'll just use a can of carburetor cleaner and spray down the exterior of the carb. With the exterior of the carburetor reasonably clean, now I'll go ahead and remove the carburetor bowl. There's still gas inside the carburetor, so I have a container to catch that gas. With the bowl removed, now we can do some disassembly on the inside of the carburetor. I'll start by removing the float and the metering needle. The float's held in place with a simple hinge pin that just pulls out of the carburetor body. And then I can pull the float and the metering needle away from the carb. Next, I'll remove the main jet and the emulsion tube. The main jet just screws into the base of the carburetor. I'll go ahead and unscrew it, and you get to a point where it's no longer unthreading from the carburetor body, but it still won't fall out of the body because of some larger threads at the base. A tip you can use here is to insert a pick through the small hole on the side of the body. That'll contact the threads on the main jet and then continue to unscrew. Now I can remove the emulsion tube. The emulsion tube just simply presses out of the body. You can access it with a small screwdriver through the opening of the carburetor body. The last part I want to remove at the base of the carburetor is the bowl gasket. We'll be replacing this part. Next, I want to remove this screw. This screw covers the pilot jet, and by removing it, we'll have access to clean. Before I can do that, I need to remove the idle screw. First, though, I want to count the number of threads that extend out past the carburetor body on the idle screw. So when we reinsert the screw, we'll know how far to put it in. 
So I'll unscrew the idle screw. And then the pilot jet cap screw. Now we can begin a thorough cleaning of the internal portions of the carburetor. I'll start with the carburetor body. There's a couple of ways you can do this cleaning and I'm going to show them both to you. First we'll use carburetor cleaner and then I'll show you an ultrasonic cleaner. Using the carburetor cleaner I want to spray the cleaner through the openings in the carb body. I insert the tip of the carb cleaner can into the opening and then just run some carb cleaner through it. And I'll continue this through all the different openings. My preferred method of cleaning carburetors is to use a small ultrasonic cleaner. You can pick these up for under $100 at many discount tool stores. The ultrasonic cleaner simply uses water, and in this case dishwashing detergent, to clean the carburetor. When you turn it on, it pulses very rapidly, which breaks the dirt up and pulls it out of the carburetor. This particular model is also heated, which greatly improves the cleaning efficiency of the machine. To use this method, I just simply drop the carburetor into the cleaner and turn it on. Okay, the ultrasonic is finished cleaning. Now I can go ahead and remove the parts. And I'll use some compressed air to get the water out. Now I'll go ahead and clean the main jet and the emulsion tube. You can put these in the ultrasonic if you have one, but I prefer to just use a little carburetor cleaner to clean these out. One thing you never want to do when cleaning any parts of the carburetor is to insert anything metal through the small passages, as this will actually damage them and make it not work properly. You can use something like a fishing line though. Uh, that won't damage the metal components and works just fine. With everything clean, now I can go ahead and reassemble the carburetor. I'll start with the screw that covers the pilot jet. Then the idle screw. And again, I'll thread this into the carburetor body until I have the same number of threads sticking out the other side. It was about two threads right there. Now reinsert the emulsion tube and screw in the main jet. Now I'll place the metering needle back onto the float and insert this assembly back onto the carburetor body and reattach it with the hinge pin. Now I'll install a new bowl gasket and bowl screw gasket. With our new gaskets in place, I'll set the bowl back onto the carburetor and secure it with the bowl screw.
Before we reinstall the carburetor back onto the lawnmower, I want to use a razor knife blade to clean up any remnants of the old gaskets. I'm also going to replace this gasket on the heat shield. Now I'll install our cleaned carburetor back onto the lawnmower. I'll start with the fuel line. Next I'll reinstall the fuel linkages. Now I'll install the air filter base and our gaskets. And I'll finish up by reinstalling the air filter and the air filter cover. Fixing your lawnmower's carburetor yourself is a repair that will save you a lot of time and money versus taking it to a repair shop. We hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to leave a comment or ask us a question.